Last night. Hey, go give them to memory. We ate these. They were like ice cream sandwiches with chocolate chip ice cream inside with sprinkles on the outside. <clears throat> they were really good. Oh, and last Thursday we had ice cream too, but we showed it already, but we didn't exactly show it. So, I feel okay about that. Hi. 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 It says on here, it's a chariot of fire. What does it say? Mile 24, Mr. Chariots of Fire. Oh, wow. That's crazy, he's an actual person. Oh, it is so much easier to walk today. I don't feel like acute pain, but it's still like, ah, oh, super sore. Oh, like really hard to go up and down stairs, mostly downstairs. Oh, almost went off the path. Ah, is it like sprinkling? It's Tuesday, which means it's our breakfast business date day morning. Today is Seven's turn to come with us. He's already helping out with the baby. Weather's been weird because it's like it's really it's warm really warm one day and not very warm the next day. Thank you for all your comments about me and my body and my insecurities. I appreciate them. And I know I'm not the only one that's gone through all of that. So that's was cool to read through those and to see your guys' encouragement. Did those make you feel better? I think so. I think I feel not alone. I know, but there is something there is something about hearing it from other women that I think is kinda like how you hear about business problems from other guys and that probably makes you feel not alone and like Oh, I guess I, or I don't know what guys have insecurities about, like I'm not making enough money or my job isn't fulfilling or I don't know, what would you say is the number one insecurity for men? My muscles aren't big enough. <laughs> my wife doesn't want me. What is wrong? Tim, right there, gave us this shirt right here. We live in Bellevue, and this is the uh, this is a picture of the state of Kentucky. We just talked about uh, my counseling appointment from Friday. I think a lot of it is just confirming of oh yeah, that makes sense that that is my husband. It's kind of putting language to characteristics of how he's related to me and how I see him relate to others. I'm gonna try and have her come to my next counseling appointment. It takes so much work for me to tell her about everything that was said. Because first of all, I don't remember it. Second of all, I hate like going through like details and Man, I do not know what the heck happened with my day. I've been editing this marathon video the whole day. Which, I didn't tell Ben this, but I was watching the last like minute, and he was like on the phone, and he was just letting it roll, and I'm like tearing up, and I'm like, oh no. It's, so watch out, watch out. It's like pretty emotional, even just like editing it. But the amazing thing is, the last marathon video I made took me five months. This one took me one day. I don't know which one's better. I think the other one might be a little bit better, but five months to one day, that's what this vlog has done, is it's just got me editing like crazy and in and, and a habit of working and pushing out products, even when I'm not comfortable with the level of perfection they have. 
So I thought I thought that was like crazy that I I hope you liked it. By the time you're watching this, you would have already seen it, but I'm editing it now. We're doing dinner at my parents' house now. Eat All right, guys, let's go. The door. Good afternoon, good evening. Uh, something little spicy. It is um, curry rice. How many of these beans are really good? Well, thank you. It's a very pretty meal, honey. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a very nice meal. Okay. The yellow piece. color is from turmeric. We got our tickets to the Indianapolis 500, Ben. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kind of different tickets. My dad's going to the Indianapolis 500. Look at this nail. It's just stuck on the window. It's supposed to go like this. Can you believe how slow Mine. they are? They I, went all the way up. I like it. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. My mom hates slugs and snails because they're like her garden arch nemesis. So she sends me videos and she talks about them all the time. See? They are hunting me. They came all the way from Seattle. I think. Ooh. It's Tuesday night, which means guys are showing up here uh, after our story time, which means that's uh, two hours from now. But I'm going to start the fire right now so it's blazing hot by the time they get here. That is a really good fire. I've been editing this video all day, and the ma this marathon video, and I'm actually pretty proud of it uh, because it reflects how far I've come in just editing. There's this one moment, though, out of all this footage that just keeps on coming back to me. No one wants to quit either. Okay, that's it. It's like four seconds long because this clip, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it for the last two days. On the Flying Pig Marathon, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people cheering you on. And I think memory said it best. Well, I liked how there was like a lot of people cheering you on and you weren't just, you, you weren't just running by yourself. And a lot of these signs are really funny. In fact, there was one guy who had this uh, cube that was a question mark, like from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> There's people dressed up like Batman, people dressed up like Forrest Gump. People dressed up like... Good job, man. I don't know. And there's really kind of funny signs. There's um, signs that say, Go random stranger. A lot of people are just making noise. Just the general vibe of other people helps you not feel alone and keeps you going. But this guy, this guy stood out to me. What he said was, thank you for running. And then you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Thank you for running. Nine words. And it really stuck with us. He looked us in the eye when he said them. The main thing that stood out to me about this guy's message was those words were true. And they were sincere. And I was really active in like the advertising agency field and things. And there's all this pressure to come up with a new message. And when you watch movies, there's like these new special effects and it's all crazy and wild. And old things and old people don't seem interesting anymore. What this guy was saying was the most interesting and true and motivating thing that we heard on the entire course. 
because it was simple and it was true. And the truth never goes out of style. It never goes out of date. He did put music to it, and in that way, he reminds me of Mr. Rogers. Because what Mr. Rogers did that has inspired us is he put simple truths to music. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. I love that this guy does it. He's actually, I, I realized later that he's a thing. If you look him up in the um, the marathon thingamajig, he actually is called the Chariots of Fire guy or something like that. Mile 24, Mr. Chariots of Fire. <laughs> but this is a great reminder that you don't have to be complex or new or fancy to change people's lives. You just have to be true. Thanks for running. We're going to make it. Thank you for running. Dang it. My fire's going out. All right, we're about to get started. The Lord's with you. Also with you. So Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Now we're going into Joshua. So in context, out of context, right? And you're gonna find in our circles a lot of people read things out of context. It doesn't make them bad people. It just makes them not very good Bible readers. Our goal is if we actually believe the truths in it are going to help us in our lives, we want to understand them in context. I was talking to the guys out by the fire tonight and I realized I made that marathon video one year ago, which means it took me a year to make it because I procrastinated for, for a full year because I didn't know how to edit video. And I told these guys, I'm gonna edit this video before I go to Israel. So I, it took me two weeks and I still stayed up all night the night before to edit that video. So who knows how many hours it took me. Today's video took me one day. That's progress. So, that feels good. <laughs> Um, okay. Gotta hold it in front of my face, Ben says. But then I can't see where I'm going. 